YouTube. Hello, subscribers. It is Friday. I can't even tell you. August something. I don't know. Storms going into the Gulf eventually here. And all kinds of stuff is happening in Florida. Well, what you're doing is you're witnessing the test of my brand new Hero 3 Plus. My GoPro Hero 3 Plus. Yes, it's old school. The sound is probably bad because you have to have the back door with the slots in it, which I have on, and I'm running in wide 1080p. This is back when GoPros had to be in a plastic case. Usually I use a GoPro Hero 5, which I truly believe is the best GoPro made. The reason being is a GoPro can get mighty fancy. Where you don't, you, there's a bunch of stuff you're just never going to use. So n normally I use a Hero 5 and a Hero 4 Sessions, which is the little square, little tiny one. That's my usual vlogging one. This one. I just picked up off of a friend of mine for 80 bucks. It has everything with it. It had uh, a head mount, it's got a remote, it came with two SD cards, only a single battery, but that's no big deal. I still get about an hour and a half on this battery. So it is, you know, we're up to Hero 8s now. GoPro Hero 8, and this is a 3 Plus. And my usual is a five. So the, it's just like iPhones. They're doing the exact same thing. GoPro is modeling. Their business uh, model is, I got dishes to give back to my mother over here. Rattling around. Their business model is exactly like Apple. Every year come out with something new with a Gigi gadget on it that makes these millennials and all these people have to go buy it. Well, I wasn't that way. I settled. I got two Hero 5s and the Session and now this Hero 3 Plus that I picked up for 80 bucks off of a friend of mine. It was too complicated for him. And what I'm going to do with this camera because I don't want to do it with my you know, $600 worth of two Hero 5s is this one is going to go to the bottom. This one is going to go to the bottom at the jetties. Okay? And I'm going to try to see 40 feet down on an incoming clearish water tide with a shrimp. I'm going to see if I can pick up Maybe even tomorrow, because i got a charter tomorrow and Sunday. Um, I'm looking to see if I'll be able to see anything. Let's see how good this does. Some fish footage on the bottom. Fish eating the bait. Anything. So, it'll be a total experiment. But what I'm doing right now is I'm going to pick up my dad... Oh, man, I forgot it. We're, I got to go all the way home now to uh, get the bottle. Uh, I, I left out without it. We're going to go get Argon in our bottle for our welder, for our uh, TIG welder. And I left out because I had so much else in my hands. So... Uh, we're gonna go across town, maybe swap the bottle out, and then hopefully go to my favorite restaurant of all time. And I'll show you when we get there. Uh, my favorite restaurant. I'm hoping we can get there and everything's gonna be open and we can have, damn, 
That woman was built like a brick shit house. Uh, I just saw. Um, hopefully we can have lunch and an early dinner there. We got to drive all the way to the west side of town, which is the industrial side of Jacksonville, to get this bottle filled and or just exchange it out. So, oh, look at Dad's got uh, his polished, I told you he's rebuilding motorcycles, and he's polishing an aluminum tank to make it real shiny. So, let's take a look. Ooh, looking good. Trying out my new Hero 3 Plus. And guess what I did? I forgot the bottle. We had to go back to my house because I had my hands full. So... Oh, is that the aluminum thing? Yeah, I did a major cutting on it. You had to cut it in half? What are you doing there? To make it fit. You gotta make it. And put what are you gonna do with this big gap? No. Weld? Oh, he's got he's gonna weld. There's the gas tank that's shining up with some dents in it. Alright, Dave's favorite restaurant all the way on the west side of Jacksonville. We dropped off our Argon bottle. Pig barbecue, baby. Pig barbecue. Dad's going in. He's going for it. All right. Well, this is still a test of the emergency broadcast system. This is only a test. No, I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. This has turned out to be more of a vloggy thing. Still testing out my GoPro Hero 3 Plus that I got for 80 bucks. But, just so y'all know, you know, I live in Florida and, you know, been there, done that, got the t-shirt, I guess you could say. Not interested in anything they do in South Florida, really. Not really. I watch those videos, haul over inlet. I watch those uh, boat ramp videos of down in South Florida and I'll tell you right off the get-go I ain't interested. I'm sorry South Florida folks uh, Those videos that Alfred makes the rib guy the boat show guy the Cuban guy You know speaking the Cuban in and out but This is what I love to read look at this Louisiana sportsman trout 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 spring specs best bets for big trout trout on the move sight fishing for reds yep that's sort of what I like to read there's some big bass fishing there in Louisiana too you know you just don't see this type of thing on the front of Florida sportsman magazine all right, well, how about this one? Big Trout, Top Water Plug. I know who that is. That's Todd Masson. Yep. Yep, there's the same people all the time you see doing articles. Kayak and Trout Tips. Summer, or Sample Summer Spec Success. Surf for Specs. When they're saying specs, folks, they're talking that speckly sea trouts, sweethearts, Louisiana sweethearts. Here's another one. Louisiana sportsman, bull red frenzy. Big trout future. High tech hog hunting. Yeah, this is the reason I love to read this magazine and a friend of mine who I bought this camera off of, the GoPro Hero 3 Plus, meaning it's got Wi-Fi and a remote control. This is the reason I read it. He gives me these because he subscribes and I become a giant fan. Join the club. Look at that. 
big speckly bastard and a good looking woman there ain't nothing like a good looking woman and a big speckly trout yep top water trout how many big trout yep Lake Pontchartrain right there here's New Orleans all down in here where does Dave want to be right where it says the Wrigley's the Wrigley's right here yes sir I want to be right there that's all Slidell Louisiana that's what I'd love to do love to be there here's the Mississippi River down here coming by New Orleans you got Lake Pontchartrain you got little Lake St. it's a little lake right there they call these lakes even though they're open to the Gulf that's uh what is that Lake St. Catherine they call this Lake Bourne the Biloxi Marsh Biloxi Mississippi's right over here folks right over here so when you're right here you can go out here go here old Chad Champagne who owns Dockside Bait and Tackle and makes Matrix Shad lures soft plastics he lives right there one time he went over here to Laplace I guess it's called Laplace 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 whatever that's how it's spelled Laplace from here to here across Lake Pontchartrain it's about 51 miles we'll call it 50 he went over here and fished with a guy and he said in that video I've never been on this side of the lake before and what how old is he he's in his 30s at least if not 40 years old by now but this was years ago he's got a big time YouTube channel there's the I-10 bridge going over right here I-10 going in to New Orleans that's it folks trout 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 reds 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 see but it says right here Florida's hold on records Florida is an interesting case study one record size speckled trout it owns 72 of the 100 IGFA records for speckled trout and 45 percent of them are close to clustered around a 100 mile stretch of coast with Cape Canaveral at the center you know why it's easier to catch them down there than it is here it kind of is easier to catch them down there grass flats shallower water not smoking ass tides like we got all that stuff that we got big trout where and why you can't do an article like that around here you can't even do a trout fishing video around here or if you do you got 20 people sitting on your spot the next the next morning so that's a little bit about what Dave reads I'll read every article in here I'll look at every ad I'll look at everything I just love it yeah someday someday oh here's the other magazine I like to read too let me tell you a little history folks National Fisherman this is the uh, informed fisherman profitable fisheries sustain sustainable fish this is basically for commercial fishermen this is their kind of trade magazine and where did I find where did I find my boat originally originally 20 years ago I'll say 20 years ago I was given a national fisherman I believe by Dave King same guy I bought this camera off of and I'm flipping through the back of it like this because people ask me all the time how'd you find that boat you live in Florida well I was flipping through this thing and I came to boats for sale and there was an ad about this big for black lab marine boats and guess what I called them I emailed them I, I physically called them I believe Jay Parada at Black Lab Marine and that's how I found my boat 
because he had an ad in the back of National Fisherman. That's another magazine that I like to just breeze through. Here's another one, shifting gears, gear shifts, right? New crew comforts hit the deck, boots, bibs, and everything in between. So what does Dave read in Jacksonville, Florida when it comes to periodicals? There you go. That's what Dave reads. Thanks to my buddy, Dave King. I'm gonna read me all about last trophy trout run. They always say that over there. You know, they always say that. Oh, there's no more big trout. Oh, yeah, 25 per person at 12 inches. If they were smart, they'd go 25 per person at 14 inches. Now, you go to the western, way west, up against Texas and Lake Calcasieu, over there in Louisiana, and they got a little different limit, I believe, over there. But in Lake Pontchartrain, 25 speckled trout per person at 12 inches. And what do we got here? We got the FWC here screwing us over left and right. And if you don't know the, how the trout reds are in, in Florida right now, they're stupid. Because in Northeast Florida, the, the trout regs don't take in the fact that you're not going out and slaying them every day. You're not going to go out and slay sweethearts every day. I don't care what the FWC says. It ain't happening. With those tides, the weather, the dredging of the river, all the stuff that's going on around here, you're not going out and catching limit after limit after limit all day on charter boats. You ain't going to do it. I can count on one hand how many times that between me and four guys, four guys and me, had our limit of six trout, six times five. I can count it on this hand. And I've been doing this now going on 20, I think it's 24 years that I've been doing the charter fishing business and been into the trout fishing. It's getting about that time where I need to call my folks for tomorrow. So this has been the test of my new GoPro Hero 3 Plus, rocking it old school, putting it in a plastic case, and on a clean incoming tide, I'm gonna send this thing to the bottom with a shrimp on it and see if I can get some croaker eating shrimp footage. I really doubt it, but we're gonna see. You're gonna follow me through the path of seeing if you can actually do any filming down on the bottom, outside the jetties or anywhere long as that water is nice and clean and clear, I'm going to set up a, a rod, set up a system where I'm going to try to capture getting some bites on the bottom with this camera in its plastic case. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for putting up with this little R&D test vlog.